the Stone of Schoon, in brackets, replica, small font. And just across the way, beautiful Schoon Palace. And let's just, we've got a lovely crowd of, of Radio 2 listeners and others here. How do we say S-C-O-N-E when we're here? How do we say it? Schoon! Schoon. So well, I, we're already getting emails saying it's scone. And then we've, we had one saying it's Schoon, and then someone saying it's scone. It's not. It's scone. It's Schoon! Right, thank you. As the Olympic flame travels around the country, thousands of people have lined the route in villages, towns and great cities, sharing in the spectacle and savouring this proud moment in British history. And you might remember our day in, in Colwyn Bay in Wales, which was really special for us. It is a chance for people to feel a part of the London Olympics and to cheer on their local heroes as they dash past. People like Elizabeth that we were speaking to. The torch arrived in Scotland from Northern Ireland on Friday, and who better to describe its journey around this proud country than our own professor of biogeography, Mr. Philip Start, and we think you will like this. From Northern Ireland, across a narrow 